PeopleSoft Fluid Expenses enables you to continuously manage your expenses anytime, anywhere using your mobile devices. By adopting the Fluid framework delivered with PeopleTools, the expense report entry functionality is enhanced with more international support, including full currency exchange, per diems, and VAT. The responsive Fluid user interface is simplified for ease of use across multiple devices, from smartphones to tablets to laptop and desktop computers, and now offers receipt split and hotel wizard capabilities, utilizing the power of Fluid Activity Guides. When you log into the PeopleSoft Fluid Employee Self-Service page, you'll see that the Expenses tile has the total amount of expenses in your wallet that still needs to be included in the expense report. On the Expenses homepage, you have access to a variety of expense processes and information at your fingertips. The Notices tile displays the latest announcements from your Travel and Expenses department. The Create Expense Report tile enables you to create a new expense report. The Add Quick Expense tile helps you record cash or incidental expenses to your wallet so that you can add them to an expense report at a later time. The My Wallet tile helps you review a list of expenses stored in your wallet. The My Expense Report tile displays the total number of expenses that have not been submitted approved, or paid. If you are using a larger device, the Expenses application will display the graphical view of the expense amount and the number of expenses in each status. The Expense History tile displays the list of expense reports that have been closed and the list of expenses in your wallet that have been applied to expense reports. Let's look at creating an expense report. On the General Information page of a new report, the business purpose and description are automatically populated based on your user profile. You can change this information if needed. You can also add an expense report receipt. Some organizations may require you to include all receipts in one place instead of individual expense items. Accounting defaults helps you set a default accounting split for all transactions in this expense report. On the expense report page, you can either create a new expense entry manually or import from your wallet. The number indicated in the Add from My Wallet button is the number of available wallet entries that can be imported into an expense report. When you use Add from My Wallet to import the wallet entries into the expense report, a confirmation message is displayed. The Expense Details page provides options to add a new expense entry, attach an expense receipt, Delete an entry that was entered or imported from your wallet, filter the expenses displayed on the grid, or copy the expense entry into single or multiple days. Let's add a new expense item. Use the Expense Type lookup icon to search for expense types. On the Expense Type search page, search for frequently used expense types in the last six months. Select All Types for a list of all expense types configured for your entity. If your organization utilizes expense category, the system lists the expense type by expense category. Change the display option to expense type to display the expense type alphabetically. You can also narrow down the list using the search expense type. After an expense type is selected, the system will dynamically modify the page and display the additional fields required for the selected expense type. Select Attach Receipt to upload expense receipts to be included in the expense report. Fluid Expenses enables you to upload expense receipts by taking a picture of your receipt and uploading it directly into the system. The source image can be uploaded from your device image library, Dropbox, or your local drive if you are using a tablet or desktop. The count for the Attach Receipt file will be updated with the number of files uploaded. The system also provides you with a warning indicator if you have not uploaded a receipt image. Accounting for the expense item will be populated based on the setup for each expense type. If you override the accounting default on the General Information page, your override will be applied automatically to the expense item. In the Accounting section, you'll modify the General Ledger Chart field, apply the charges to a specific project, or split the charges for this expense item to multiple departments, cost centers, fund codes, projects, and activities.
selecting accounting on a small form factor transfers you to the expense accounting summary page. This page displays summary information for each split line along with general ledger chart fields, project costing chart fields, and the amount distribution. You can drill into each line to review the detail and update the information. Use the Add button to add a new split accounting line, or the Delete button to remove a split accounting line. If you split the accounting, the row count on the expense entry page will be updated. Itemize Hotel Bill allows you to break down the hotel charges into individual expenses such as daily hotel bill, room services, internet, parking, laundry, and so on. Receipt Split enables you to split receipts, or to split receipts that have been split before. The Expense Entry page also allows you to enter per diem expenses, including the per diem breakdown using daily or hourly rates. If a per diem deduction is required for partial travel dates, you may apply it on the expense entry. For the countries where VAT is applicable to expenses, the application will auto-calculate the VAT based on the rule set up by your organization, and you can override the calculated VAT if the setup permits you to do so. If you are traveling out of your home country, you can enter the expense in foreign currency. The system will apply the default currency exchange rate and you can override it. Once you've saved your expense report, review the expense summary page. The expense report summary section outlines the total amount included in the expense report and the amount due to the employee. The additional information section displays any cash advance balance that you may have and approved travel authorization. You can drill down into either of these sections for more details. If your organization doesn't use or if you don't have any open cash advance and approved travel authorization, these sections will be hidden. Use View Analytics to review your report at a glance and make sure that you submitted all of your expenses. In the Notes section, enter notes and any reference information that will be helpful for the approver or auditor. Comments that are entered by the approver or auditor during the approval process will be displayed in this section. The Approval Status section displays the approval history, approval path, and the action taken. Once you submit the report, Fluid Expense redirects you to the My Expense Reports page, where you can review all of your expenses in various statuses. You can also use the My Expense Reports page to easily find the status of your expense report and who is the next in line to approve your report. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Expense Report Entry Enhancements. The General Ledger Business Unit Management feature enables you to complete a multi-step business process to quickly create a financial structure that supports business growth and expansion. Previously a complex and difficult process for even the most experienced employees, now you can add, modify, and copy general ledger business units using the People Tools Activity Guide. The General Ledger Business Unit Management feature combines the most common components in PeopleSoft Classic used to create general ledger business units into a single location so that you can quickly access general ledger business unit setup data using one central component. On the View GL Business Units page, use the new search area to search for an existing business unit. The business unit grid displays your search results. Choose a business unit from the list or add a new one. Use the Actions list to copy a business unit or delete a business unit from your list. If the business unit is not in your favorites, the Add to Favorites option will be listed. To save time when copying an existing business unit to a new business unit, Choose one that is similar to the new business unit. When you copy a business unit, the system walks you through a series of questions that determine the steps in the activity guide. If you answered yes to question number three, the Questionnaire Advanced Features page appears. Complete the questionnaire and click Next. The activity guide setup pages are displayed as steps on the left side of the page. They are sequenced in the order that they should be completed to create a new general ledger business unit. Dependent steps are highlighted if one should be completed before the next. When you select a step on the left side of the page, the corresponding setup page appears on the right side of the page. When you complete a step, indicate that you have completed it so that it doesn't have to be revisited. 
The status below each step tells you where you are in the process of creating a new business unit. Two steps, basic information and ledgers for a unit, are required and are identified by a red star. The biggest benefit of the required fields is that if you don't expect any differences from the business unit that you are copying from, you don't have to update these two areas. Two other steps are expandable. These are advanced features and ledger options. This completes our demonstration of the General Ledger Business Unit Management feature. Fluid and Classic Work Centers now have a scope field that enables you to create multiple sets of filter values. When you access the Work Center, you'll view selected data based on a selected scope. In this example, we'll create a scope for invoices not finalized for Business Unit US001 and Customer Florence Garden. Select Configure Scope from the Personalize menu. On the Configure Scope page, click the Create Scope button. Enter Florence Garden in the Scope Label field and click Done. Click the details for Florence Garden and then click the Edit Filters icon in the Invoices Not Finalized row. The Configure Scope Values page enables you to define specific filter values for the filter ID and scope combination. Notice that the count for invoices not finalized is now 4, and the only customer showing is Florence Garden. You can create as many scopes as needed. This concludes our demonstration of the My Work Center scope feature. The PeopleSoft Fluid Cost Balancing Work Center for Extra Large Form Factors uses the PeopleSoft Fluid Work Center framework and is designed to assist managers and operational leads with the inventory cost ledger period end close process. The Cost Balancing Work Center tile can be added to any home page and includes the following sections My Work, Links, Cost Reconciliation Pages, Reports, Processes, reporting and processing results, and search. Cost managers and leads are provided with a list of pending tasks to complete before the start of the period end close. The Cost Balancing Work Center provides an overview of work and links. Alerts indicate pending tasks and the numbers next to each work category displays how many transactions need to be reviewed. Select the Cost Balancing Tolerance section to view a list of transactions that need to be worked. Select the Filter button to access the Refine Filter Criteria page, apply the Tolerance Percent filter, and change the results of transactions displayed. Select the Display Options icon to access the Display Option page, or the Spreadsheet icon to download data on the page to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. You can also select the Actions button to take related actions. The Cost Balancing Work Center also shows a consolidated list of links to pages you can navigate to and work on. Once complete, the manager can generate inventory cost accounting line entries for the given period and then review the generated accounting lines to confirm the accounting line amounts to be in balance with the inventory ledger costs. A tolerance filter can be used to quickly identify out-of-balance accounting lines that need review using a percentage or dollar amount filter value. This completes the Cost Balancing Work Center demonstration. PeopleSoft Real Estate Management has been enhanced to support both operating and capital leases as a lessee or a lessor. Support for any asset type is now enabled, allowing you to create leases for any asset in the Asset Management Repository, including property, equipment, and more. Due to the product's expansion to serve as an overarching leasing solution across the enterprise, the product is being renamed PeopleSoft Lease Administration. PeopleSoft Lease Administration will remain a part of the PeopleSoft Asset Lifecycle Management product suite. The Lease Administration component is enhanced to support capital or financial payable leases. The assets tagged to the Lease Administration leases will be capitalized during the lease activation. The capital lease payments will be interfaced to accounts payable through Lease Administration. 
You'll create all accounting entries, such as asset add, adjustment, transfer, lease payments, recategorizations, and retirements using asset management accounting entry templates. The enhanced accounting entry templates in asset management allows lesser accounting for capital leases managed in lease administration. The lease administration component is modified to tag any asset, irrespective of the asset type, for example, property or non-property, without navigating to asset management. You can create an asset with minimal information while creating the lease. You can also select an existing asset from the asset repository. This completes the lease accounting enhancements demonstration. Organizations want to improve efficiency by simplifying the number of steps required in their daily business processes. One of these steps is making prepayments to suppliers, which facilitates the settlement of goods and services being procured. PeopleSoft Accounts Payable offers robust capabilities around invoice settlements and enables you to make prepayments. By combining the Voucher Prepayment Search page and the Apply Vouchers to Prepayment page, it is now easier to find, select, apply, and unapply prepayments to regular vouchers. In addition, the earlier limit of 999 vouchers to a single prepayment has been removed. This completes the prepayment usability enhancement demonstration. In Italy, tax authorities require that all taxable Italian subjects identified for VAT must provide an electronic file listing of issued and received invoices. This list of invoices must also be provided in accordance with technical standards defined by Italian tax authorities for transactions that must be included and are not exempt. The Trading Partner Declaration Report creates the following declarations. The Republic of San Marino Purchases Declaration, Blacklist Countries Transactions List Declaration, and Customer and Supplier Listing Declaration. This concludes the Trading Partner Declaration Report Demonstration from the VAT Regulatory Requirements feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, release notes on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.